Hello there, in this video I'm going to show you how you can also use password protected uh, links when sharing a folder or file anonymously with uh, external users. So first thing you need to know is that uh, opposite uh, what uh, we, uh, you can do with the OneDrive where you have by default this feature, first thing you need to know is that uh, you have to do some configurations in your SERPON online sites where you want to use this feature. So for instance, here I am in the Modern SERPON online admin center and I have uh, just selected a Modern SERPON site. If I click on sharing here, what you need to know first is just to uh, do this small configuration. So you have to change the sharing, set, the sharing setting from any other value to anyone because the password protected feature is only available for any folder or any file that is anonymous to share with an external user or with also a corporate user. It doesn't matter. So once this is done, the next thing you have to do is just to access to your SERPON online site. In this case, it's a modern, a modern SERPON online team site, as I say. Um, uh, you can select any file you have in your site and mostly with uh, other users. In this particular demo, I'm going to share a folder. So you can also see here that uh, this is a modern SERPON online team site that is actually linked uh, to a Microsoft team. So I'm going to share this corporate presentation folder. So I select, I had to select this folder and I had to click on share. As soon as I do that, I am presented with the sharing options I have uh, for SharePoint Online that are the same we have in Wonderful Business. So uh, first option I have here is just to be able to share with anyone this uh, shared resource, which means uh, anyone that uh, is not going to be requested to provide a user or password to um, access this shared resource. But as I say, we are going to protect uh, the sharing link with a password. So we can prevent uh, this sharing link is shared with any other user that should, uh, should not have access to this folder. So we have to click on the link type and as you can see here we have uh, we can set the password. So I'm going to set this password for this folder. Here we go. And as expected, uh, I'm also informed about the strength of the password. In this case, it's good. So once I'm ready, I can click on Apply. Just to be sure, I'm going to retype the password. And I'm going to click on Apply. And the next thing I'm going to do is just to specify the uh, external user I, I want to share the folder with. In this case, is a uh, external user uh, has an a Gmail account. Here we go. And I can click on Send. Fine. The next thing I, I, I can do is just to go to, uh, yeah, to another session in my browser and just check my email inbox. So, sorry for the Spanish. Uh, let's update actually this. And I should receive a sharing, a sharing link to my folder. Here we have the sharing link for the folder. And the only thing we need to do is just to click on open. Let's click on open. And I'm going to be asked to provide the password that obviously the person that is sharing with me this folder has provided in a secure way. In, in a secure way. So I'm going to type the password. Here we go. And we can click on check. Sorry for Spanish again. Not a problem. And if everything goes well, I'm going to have access to all the files that are in the folder. But I didn't need uh, to. Uh, I didn't need to to sign in in the site, and the only thing I had to do is just to provide the password. Um, as you can see here, I have the possibility to upload files, to see current files, to edit them, or to create new 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 folders, and yeah, uh, to download the files and so on. And everything works as expected. So very, very cool feature that uh, we have also the possibility to protect anonymous links uh, when sharing files or folders from certain online sites. This is a very, a very nice feature. And um, yeah, I hope you have found this video interesting. Um, talk to you soon. Bye bye.